This is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Live at 4. We're keeping an eye on the weather as we get closer to the weekend. Yes, there's a tiny <laughs> chance of storms tonight and a scorcher of a weekend ahead for Father's Day. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington with the first warm forecast. A little line of rain we saw on the radar, but is that gone now, Alex? Yeah, a little line is slowly dwindling, fading. The th storm threat is decreasing for tonight. We were mentioning yesterday that the first warm weather team, we were keeping an eye on that cold front, where that cold front was going to set up across southern Wisconsin, is pushed down to the south, and that takes that severe weather threat south of the Wisconsin-Illinois border. So that storm threat again, let's repeat, is decreasing. Still can't rule out an isolated shower or storm near the Wisconsin-Illinois border trying to pop up yet this evening. But Armand, you were saying a scorcher. Look at by Father's Day Sunday, 89 degrees. So pushing 90 degrees, you add the humidity there and it's going to feel like the lower 90s. We'll be looking at some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that's just the thing to come during our newscast this evening. We're going to be breaking down an active weather pattern, a warm and humid pattern, giving you some tips as well on how to get ready to beat the summer heat. Right now, not too terribly hot out in Madison. We got 80, to, uh, 80 degrees out there. Winds are calm. That dew point is a measure of moisture. That's at 60 degrees. So that's relatively comfortable and if you look behind that Madison graphic you can see the skies are clearing out but we got more storms to talk about and a hot weather forecast ahead. All right, we'll check back in just a little bit, Alex. Thank you. And with severe storms hitting our area this whole season, we want to remind you to stay safe when lightning is around. According to Ready Wisconsin, the safest place during a severe storm is under a sturdy enclosed structure. This reduces the risk of lightning strikes. Do not take cover out in the open near lakes or under a tree. Those places increase the risk of lightning striking you. If you're inside, Ready Wisconsin says you should do your best to avoid anything plugged into an outlet as well as running water and plumbing. And if you see someone struck by lightning, immediately call 911. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden was in Green Bay today launching a new campaign initiative. It's called Seniors for Biden Harris, which looks to attract that key demographic to the campaign. At the Brown County Public Library, Dr. Biden highlighted the policies which benefit seniors. The initiative will feature standard campaign events as well as pickleball events and bingo nights. Former President Trump will visit Racine next week after reports that he called Milwaukee, quote, horrible. According to CNN, the comments reportedly came during a closed door meeting today about the Republican National Convention on Capitol Hill. Democrats across the board have condemned the comment, saying that Trump shouldn't visit Milwaukee if he believes it's horrible. But Wisconsin Republican Derek Van Orden is clarifying the quote, saying the former president was talking about crime in the city. And as the Republican National Convention gets closer, there are concerns about security. The Secret Service is considering an expansion to the current security measures at Pfizer Forum. The proposed security measures would stop protesters from gathering in the large park near the venue. These talks come after a months-long dispute between the Secret Service and the GOP over the security measures it will take around the convention. And a trillion cicadas are buzzing around the Midwest, but we have a very special brood in Wisconsin that hasn't seen the light of day since 2007. Special is an interesting <laughs> word. It means that it's been 17 years since brood 13 cicadas emerged. So our Merrill Hubbard, she drew the short straw today, and she went out to a noisy hot spot to check them out. We are in the middle of cicada season here in Wisconsin, and I'm here in Janesville to get the buzz about these inch-long insects. You can't escape the sound. The static hum in the trees lets us know that cicada mating season is on. They spend 17 years developing and maturing underground. Once they are ready to repopulate, they break through the surface. Then it's four to six weeks of singing and snuggling before their lifespan comes to an end. This natural phenomenon can be witnessed in southern parts of Wisconsin, including Lake Geneva and Rock River Heritage Park in Janesville. That means it's only a short drive if you want to hear the cicadas sing. I've stood outside a couple days ago and it was a low hum and I heard it start up like someone's turning a volume knob up. It happens that quickly. It just all of a sudden they all wake up and boop. June is prime time for these noisy bugs. So if you want to pay them a visit, now may be the time. I'm Meryl Hubbard, News 3 Now. 
braver than many of us. Well, <laughs> yes. these periodical cicadas won't be around much longer as we get into July. They'll disappear for another 17 years. The first ever international festival dedicated to an indigenous person is bringing the legacy of a late Ho-Chunk artist to Monona this weekend. The Harry Whitehorse International Wood Sculpture Festival is taking place this weekend from Friday to next Saturday. The unique event is bringing wood carvers together to create sculptures using modern and more traditional techniques. Talking about the state of the world right now and 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 but some of the pieces are going to be really nature based some are much more environmentally based and that that has a, is a very broad interpretation harry whitehorse was a renowned artist and wood carver whose works have inspired many even beyond his death in 2017. the festival opens tomorrow at 5 p.m and is free for anyone looking to attend Two young actors are being honored for their work on local stages. Ava Greenberg and Nolan Travis are both recipients of the Overture Center's Jerry Award for their excellence in stage performance. The Jerry Awards are a series of awards put on by the Overture Center to honor local high school actors. Both Greenberg and Travis received the Jerry Award for outstanding lead performance for their roles in local shows. Our program really does an amazing job of supporting musical theater talent across the state and gives high schoolers like myself and Nolan the opportunity to, um, you know, put on this award show and help celebrate musical theater even more. But they aren't just receiving local acclaim, they're both heading to the National Jimmy Awards on Broadway. I've seen like around uh, two shows on Broadway because I have a lot of family that lives out in the East Coast. And so we always go up to New York and take the trip. But this will be my first time being on a Broadway stage, which will be awesome. The Jimmy Awards are being hosted by Josh Groban and features young actors from across the country. Incredible talent at the high school level. It's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations to everybody. Coming up on Live at 4, it's almost the weekend. We're almost there in the 608. And Josh Bader joins us with a look at what you can get up to this weekend when Live at 4 returns. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we have new financing options to help you get a new smile today, not someday. Scan the QR code or call to learn more. Go ahead and smile. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards and give Dad the gift of power this Father's Day. The Masterforce Drill and Impact Driver have a brushless motor to deliver on power. They also come in a lightweight, compact design, making them perfect for when working in overhead or tight spaces. Save on Masterforce Power Tools this Father's Day. Pick up these ultra-compact 20-volt tools. Now just $88.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to, to Delicious. delicious. Yeah. If your windows are leaky and drafty, it's possible they weren't installed properly. Many installers lack proper training, and shoddy installation leaves your home vulnerable to extreme weather. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our approach ensures your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. And your windows and doors will be installed by certified experts who treat your home as if it was their own. When you demand tomorrow's comfort, Next delivers. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. Elevate your look with Wisconsin Vision. Affordable luxury in every frame.
necessity for some, but suitable for every lifestyle. Ask about our $99 prescription sunglasses. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our Snap Secure Dental Implants will help you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Go ahead and smile. Welcome back. The U.S. Supreme Court unanimously ruled to preserve access to the widely used abortion medication Mifepristone. This was the court's first decision since conservative justices overturned the federal right to an abortion two years ago. Skylar Henry is at the Supreme Court with the latest. The abortion drug Mifepristone, used in nearly two-thirds of all U.S. abortions last year, will stay available to patients up to 10 weeks pregnant without having an in-person doctor visit. The nine justices were unanimous, finding the abortion opponents who brought the case lacked the legal standing to sue the FDA. It doesn't have anything to do with whether or not abortion is a protected liberty under the Constitution. It has everything to do with these doctors, this medical group, whether or not they could walk into the courthouse doors and say, I was injured enough to be able to move forward with my suit. President Biden in Italy for the G7 summit praised the decision, but signaled abortion access will be a top issue in November, saying in a statement, it does not change the fact that the right for a woman to get the treatment she needs is imperiled, if not impossible, in many states. Today's ruling allows mail order pharmacies to continue shipping Mifepristone nationwide. But just last month, Louisiana designated the drug a dangerous controlled substance. 14 states are enforcing bans on all stages of abortion, making access to Mifepristone difficult. The data are very, very clear that Mifepristone is extremely safe, extremely effective. Over 100 peer-reviewed uh, journal publications have shown this over and over again. Anti-abortion activists were outside the Supreme Court Thursday, vowing to fight on. No, they're not saying that abortion pills are safe. They just said the case didn't have standing. So we'll be back with another case with better standing next time. Three states, Idaho, Kansas, and Missouri, are working to return the issue to the courts with plaintiffs directly impacted. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court. Russia has formally sent its espionage case against jailed U.S. reporter Evan Gerskovich to court. The Wall Street Journal reporter has been detained in Moscow since March of 2023 when he was arrested and charged with spying. A Russian government official announced today that they've determined Gerskovich collected secret defense and military information in Russia under instruction from the CIA. Gerskovich, his employer, and the U.S. government have denied the accusations. After the announcement, the Wall Street Journal again spoke out in defense of Gerskovich, demanding the U.S. work harder to get him released. And in more local news, it's Teacher's Night at Warner Park, where the Madison Mallards are taking on the Wisconsin Rapids Rafters. Our meteorologist Blaze Keller is live there this afternoon with a look at everything new this year. Hi, Blaze. Hello. It is hot, it is humid, but it is an excellent night to get out as kind of that severe weather threat. And I'll let Alex talk more about that has diminished here across southern Wisconsin. So let me bring in General Manager Sam Rubin. Tell us what can uh, folks coming out tonight kind of expect new this year if they haven't been to the duck pond? Yeah, I mean, tonight's our teacher appreciation night. So we're doing a lot of stuff for teachers specifically, but for general fans or general people, the video board is a huge new addition. Um, we have turf on our infield as well. So when it does, hopefully not tonight, rain, uh, we're still able to play through all of that. Previous In previous years, we've had to stop the game, tarp the field, do all these things. Um, we have giant new ice cream cone, new foods that are all around, 15-foot ice cream cone where we serve, um, soft serve ice cream out of, and just tons of new and exciting things that are happening here at the Duck Pond. How long does it take kind of generally that the Duck Pond to plan to get these new things for uh, uh, baseball fans to then enjoy for the upcoming season. Yeah, I mean, the video board, the, we placed the order in like October and November and got that installed this spring. Um, same with the turf. The turf was a little bit of a later addition just because it was came with the addition of the Nightmares, our new softball team that's launching on Sunday. Um, and so that was a January thing. But a lot of these things are placed in October, November before the holidays. And we 
wait for them to get here and then we just play with them all summer so it's been a really fun thing to see all this stuff come to fruition and quickly how was uh the the patrons that have been able to enjoy this what has their reception been like with all the new features and oh toys my gosh. the video board alone is like it's jaw dropping it's 90 feet long 20 feet tall so like that alone is like a a sight to see um, but the turf again with all the storms we've had the past few weeks um, fans are really appreciative that we can continue to play and not have to call games and that sort of thing so I think those two things hand in hand have been a huge change for your fans this year I don't know how you're out here in a, in a sweater so we're gonna wrap this interview up it's hot it's humid but Alex is gonna tell folks at home who want to come out tonight the game starts a little after six what they can expect so I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio yeah, thanks so much, Blaze. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's still a little bit on the muggy side out there. Sam, uh, you're brave in that <laughs> sweatshirt. I need a short sleeve shirt too. Certainly wouldn't be able to wear the suit jacket out there as temperatures, even as we approach the fifth inning, are still going to be near 80 degrees as we head towards the end of the game. We'll still be in the 70s. Heads up for tomorrow. As we cool down tonight, we'll warm right back up on your Friday, but it won't be quite as humid. Three things you need to get out of the forecast now is a mild night ahead. Storm threat is pushing off towards the south and towards the east. Picture perfect Friday for this time of year. And then the active weather pattern starts back up again on Saturday. Can't seem to shake a break from it. And it's going to be a long stretch of warm, humid and stormy conditions. So enjoy tonight. 79 at 6 o'clock in Madison, 76 at 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock at 71 degrees. And we'll dip down into the 50s or right around 60. Dow radar 3000 right now not showing anything. We were saying last night, actually the past couple of days, we took the alert day conditions out for Thursday because we thought that front would go to the south and that front has slipped to the south. Still can't rule out an isolated shower storm near the Wisconsin Illinois border, but that's not looking likely. Even by 830, you see the winds really from the north and northwest moving towards the south. That means the front is sunk down into Illinois overnight tonight. You can open the windows up. You won't be woken up tomorrow morning by thunderstorms with temperatures in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So enjoy a nice refreshing night. If you like the windows open to have that nice cool breeze come in, it'll warm up to about 80 on Friday afternoon and then things are going to start to change. The temperatures are going to go up. The humidity levels are going to go up. So flash forward to the weekend, 79 Saturday, 89 on Sunday. Heat index values could be approaching the low 90s on Sunday. And this is just the start of that hot and humid weather pattern. Let's go out into next week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Temperatures near 90 degrees with heat index values in the mid 90s. As we get towards the middle to end of next week, some of our weather models are indicating going above 90 degrees with heat index values perhaps getting into the upper 90s. I want to talk a little bit about well, why are we not why don't we have alert days out for next week? Well, the feels like value of 95 degrees. It hasn't quite reached heat advisory or excessive heat watch warning criteria, but we'll be keeping an eye on that. Also, we're going to be active storm wise. So those storms could cool temperatures down a bit. If we get a little bit of mixing, that's when dry or high up comes down. That could actually warm things up a little bit more. So there's some uncertainty next week on the temperatures and just how high that feels like factor is going to get. So I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Again, staying active clear through that 10 day forecast all the way out to the end of next week. Let's take a look at a couple of viewer photos that were sent to us. Uh, Lori sending us this forward, uh, photo here from Orfordville. We had that line of storms come through this morning. We said last night there'd be a second line and that verified across southern Wisconsin. That first line we said would come through Wednesday evening did. Look at the choppy water there over Lake Mendota. Thanks Kent for sending us that photo. When that storm approached Barneville, that gust front look, looking very ominous near Barneville. Thank you so much. And then look at this scene here from Richland County just before the storms entered yesterday afternoon where we had reported wind gusts up to 64 miles per hour in Boscoville. Quite a different scene tonight. Quiet tonight. Quiet Friday before we turn back on the stormy mode. Well, we're happy for that to hear that. Thank you so much, Alex. Well, we're working for the weekend in the 608 this afternoon. Our Josh Breiter has three things that you can do with your family this Father's Day weekend. 
It's a busy June in the 608 with events happening all over this Father's Day weekend. Our first of three events we're highlighting this afternoon, brand new to the Madison area. The Madison Nightmares will host the lacrosse team for its home opener on Sunday. First pitch is at 6.05 p.m. at the Duck Pond. We had an opportunity to meet the team mascot midnight Wednesday. This groundbreaking league is the first ever to showcase the best female collegiate softball players from across the country. We're told families can expect an atmosphere similar to a Mallard's game. The team will play a total of 21 home games with each game lasting seven innings. Happening Saturday, you can support clean and healthy lakes with Loop the Lake. This is the 12th annual benefit bike ride put on by the Clean Lakes Alliance. It's an at your own pace bike ride around Lake Monona to raise money and awareness benefiting the greater Madison Lakes. Cyclists of all ages and abilities can take in the scenic 13.8 mile loop around Lake Monona starting and ending at Oberk Park. The course is open from 9 to 2. Also happening this Father's Day weekend, Bessie's Diner in Janesville is hosting its fly-in or drive-in pancake breakfast. The sixth annual event is taking place Saturday and Sunday from 7 to 2. Bessie's Diner is located at the Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport. It's a great event for the whole family with an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast, plus the chance to get up and close and personal with new and vintage planes. Remember, we are your home for what's happening in the 608. Just go to channel3000.com and click on the community calendar. In the 608 for Live at 4, I'm Josh Breider, News 3 Now. Thank you so much, Josh. Well, when you lose a loved one, sometimes they can still reach out to you in unexpected ways. Mm -hmm. Coming up next at 4, our Brady Mallory shares the story of a local author who's been inspired by just that. That's when we come back. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2026. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast so you can enjoy your new windows all summer long. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for feldco we're looking for 200 homeowners this month interested in getting new landscape borders. Our borders are laid in one piece using a high-performance concrete mix, and we add fibers and steel cable to maximize strength and durability. Our cutting-edge materials and process ensure that your borders will not fade, discolor, or disconnect, and will look beautiful for years to come. And all of our borders are covered by our extensive lifetime warranty. Boost your curb appeal with easy-to-mow-around, long-lasting, beautiful landscape borders. Visit the website or call the number for your new borders today. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Buck and Honey's for Best Restaurant, Best Catering, Best New Restaurant, and Best Outdoor Dining. Vote online for Buck and Honey's today. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Right now at the Century House, purchase any Fjords furniture and receive up to 20% off. All models, all sizes, all colors. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Fight the bite and take back your yard. Trust your trained local mosquito squad of South Central Wisconsin to defend against backyard pests. Our pioneered barrier treatment is backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. If a mosquito or tick is peskier than the rest, we will apply another treatment. The season's short in Wisconsin. Don't let mosquitoes and ticks make it any shorter. Call your local mosquito squad of South Central Wisconsin for a free quote. In less than 30 minutes, you'll be on your way to being outside all day. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. I'm 82. 86. 90 years young. Eric Hovde thinks people like us shouldn't be able to vote. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Son, I've served this country. I think I can handle a ballot. What a jerk. Eric Hovde, I'm fully aware of whom I'm voting for, and it won't be you. 
When you lose someone you love, you'll spend the rest of your life searching for that person. Sometimes they still unexpectedly show up, and one local author knows this for sure. Our Brady Mallory shows you the book and a local woman's personal story about what happens whenever she sees a cardinal. I've gotten really good at spotting them. Sometimes in the wilderness, in the lush, never-ending trees of green. It's right here. A spark of red catches Elizabeth Newberry's eye. I often refer to the cardinal as like my lucky penny. Newberry says the value of spotting a cardinal is priceless. That's why she's written a children's book called When You See a Cardinal. The little red bird represents a loved one who is no longer here. It's a very personal story for Newberry. When my father passed away, it just became something that I looked forward to seeing unexpectedly every now and then, especially when I was missing him. And it felt like a super simple way to connect with him and just like navigate through grief. Her dad, Joe, died of a sudden heart attack when Newberry was still in high school. Seeing Cardinals still comforts her, and she believes it's her dad saying hi. One of my favorite things about when I see them, it's always very unexpected or right when I'm thinking about him. The book tells the story of a little girl's relationship to cardinals and how finding them balances the sense of loss she feels. Newberry wrote the book as a way to help children understand and navigate the loneliness of grief. When a cardinal visits an old friend's near, someone who left but always held dear, they're a constant guide, your loyal mate. In their scarlet splendor, they await your fate. Some of the illustrations show Newberry as a little girl walking with her dad. She says, writing about him. He was probably um, my biggest supporter. Is therapeutic for her and her family. She hopes it helps her readers who are also missing someone who has died. I don't really care how many I sell or any of that kind of stuff. I just wanted to get the story out there. Um, so maybe it could help people the way it's helped me since I was a little girl. And I think it would mean the same to my father and I think he'd feel very honored as well. Grief is a vast and never ending wilderness. Sometimes when you feel the most lost and lonely, and when you least expect it, you may see a cardinal. I see him, now he's here. When you spot one, Elizabeth Newberry hopes you catch a glimpse of someone you love. And you remember, that person is watching out for you too. The cardinal has been a significance in our family since I was a little girl, so I kind of went from spotting cardinals with my father to now um, him becoming a cardinal himself. The whole purpose of the book is just to provide comfort for those who need it the most. Oh, Elizabeth, that is so beautiful. What a beautiful story. You can find When You See a Cardinal online at Amazon and also Barnes & Noble. Now, Brady would like to share a personal note with you all. He says this, I want to thank Elizabeth Newberry for sharing her story. When we set up the interview, I had no idea it would soon be my story. I finished writing this piece last Friday, and shortly after, I got a life-changing phone call. My beautiful mom, Gloria, died the next day on June 8th. She had lived with metastatic breast cancer and was doing remarkably well. However, an infection put her in the hospital. We saw progress and were hopeful she'd get to go home, but it wasn't to be. She died surrounded by my dad, two sisters, and me. I held her hand until the end. The other day, I swear I saw a cardinal in the distance, and as I whispered, Mom, to myself, the cardinal hopped and chirped. My mom was the kindest, most courageous individual I've ever known, and the love and light of my life. I know she's always with me. On behalf of my family, thank you to everyone who has reached out with condolences. I'll be away for a while, but I will be back to work and on TV soon. Until then, I'll be celebrating my mom's life and searching for cardinals. Love, Brady. We'll be right back. If you're about to replace your roof, stop. There's a solution about 80% less expensive. Nine out of 10 roofs can be saved by RoofMax. Guaranteed to extend the life of your current roof by five to 15 years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. RoofMax's deep penetrating power restores flexibility and water protection. Nobody wants to replace their roof. Restore it instead with RoofMax for 80% less. Call now for a free roof inspection.
Are you happy with your lawn? At Natural Lawn of America, we believe a healthy, safer lawn is closer than you think. Our trained technicians will help your lawn build natural defense against weeds and pests. In addition to fertilizing and weed control, we offer core aeration and overseeding with our proprietary blend strengthening your lawn, bringing air to the root soil and naturally crowding out weeds. Natural Lawn of America, your direct route to a healthier lawn, safer lawn care naturally. Call today for a free quote. Service and savings, it's Woodman's. Hi, we're, we're the, the Woodman's. Woodman's. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on healthy, natural foods. 32 ounce Bragg's apple cider vinegar, just $4.99. Or 10 ounce Boulder Canyon chips, just $3.99. Hot, hot prices on natural foods. Apple cider vinegar, $4.99. Or chips, $3.99. Hi, caramba, healthy eating and save money. Better, better products, products, better prices, better, better service, service, because we're employee owned. It's you want it, we got it, it's all here. Rosemont, it. you want the night lights, the bright lights, I'll put you in the spotlight light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want style, well now I'll show you where you gotta be. Tell you what you gotta see. Oh, it's gonna make you smile. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rosemont. Summertime fun is in full swing in Rosemont. From grand slams to hot jams. To Rosemont at your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont. It. Thank you for 29 quick and painless years. Wow, Fry to the rescue since 1995. And best of Madison's best roofer four years in a row. We know roofs, and your roof gets the very best gutter system with Fry. It's engineered to withstand the toughest conditions and outperform year-round. 29 years of excellence and 29% off absolute gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule a free consult now at FryConstruction.com. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Look at that, it's a nice shot of a flag there. It looks like on a boat, am I right? Hey, I'm right. It's a boat in the water. There we go. Those are suspenseful. And uh, definitely a muggy day this morning and uh, maybe some storms ahead. Yeah, muggy definitely this morning, Armand. The good news is, for especially even for those sailors out there too, that that storm threat is pushed down into northern Illinois. So a nice night tonight. But don't get used to it too quickly here, at least not for long. Unfortunately, we got some really muggy weather ahead. Look at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, highs near 90. But what I really want you to focus on are the pink bars, 93, 95, 95, 96. That's the feels like factor next week. So not only is it going to be warm actual temperature wise, the feels like factor to your body is going to be quite high. This is a good reminder now as we start to approach summer. How can you beat the heat this summer? Well, it's all about planning, right? Isn't that always the good thing to do? Look for your light clothing in the, your or in your wardrobe, the cool spots. Where are they? Limit that outside time. If you don't have an AC or a fan, now's a good time to start planning to find out. Maybe go over to a friend's house and spend some time with them if they've got air conditioning. And always hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. Well, speaking of hydration, at least naturally from the water standpoint, we got nothing here on Radar 3000. That storm threat has slipped down into northern Illinois, so it's going to be a nice night across southern Wisconsin. Nice temperatures, 80 in Madison, 80 in Cross Plains, 81 in Oregon, and 81 to the east in Deerfield. We're all right around 80 degrees as this cold front just kind of hangs out along and near the Wisconsin-Illinois border. Dew point temperatures. That's the measure of moisture. When it gets in the blues here, that's when you start to feel it, just like Araman was saying. It's a bit on the muggy side out there, but we're going to be seeing those dew points uh, going into the upper 60s, if not into the low to mid 70s. It's tropical weather by the time we get out towards Father's Day. But let's do one more nice thing to talk about here planning your evening. Temperatures dipping down to around 70 at 10 o'clock. And when I come back in Maine weather, we're going to track also some of the storminess that we can expect over the next seven to ten days. All right, thank you, Alex. The city of Madison continues to deal with the after effects of three separate instances of gun violence over the past weekend. And as mass shootings continue to be a concern nationwide, our Maddie Heimsch looks into contributing factors and potential solutions. Maddie? 
Yeah, Susan Armand, behind me is an interactive map published by the Violence Prevention Project of mass public shootings in the United States. The size of these red bubbles indicate the number of injuries and deaths from each incident. And as you can see here, as the timeline approaches 2024, 20, those bubbles continue to grow. And just as the number of shootings increases, the number of those killed in shootings does as well. In the past decade, more than 500 people in the U.S. were killed in mass shootings. The decade before that, just over 300. And that impact becomes so widely spread because those people aren't just numbers. They're loved ones, they're family members. Sometimes they're even kids who are not involved in the conflict at all and quite literally are caught in the crossfire. Ariel Smith, director of the Gun Violence Prevention Program at Public Health Madison in Dane County, says that before we can prevent gun violence, we need to understand its root causes, like housing, income stability, and community resources. Coming up on News 3 Now at 6, we'll discuss why Smith says Madison is unique when it comes to gun violence trends. Maddie, thank you. The stock market continued the week's trends with the Dow falling another 65 points. Continuing their climb, the Nasdaq is up 59 and the S&P rose 12. And campaign season is in full swing and here in Wisconsin, Democrats are pulling out all the stops. This morning, two police officers who defended the U.S. Capitol on January 6th made the first of three Wisconsin campaign stops on the steps of our own Capitol building. Those officers recounting their experiences on that day and their message, urging Wisconsin voters to remember former President Trump's role in the events that unfolded. But will the January 6th reminders actually have an impact on the election? Our Braden Ross sat down with political expert Charles Franklin to find out. Braden, what did he tell you? Yeah, well, the short answer is bringing up January 6th probably won't change anyone's mind on who to vote for, but it could get more people out to the polls. Officers Harry Dunn and Daniel Hodges recounted what that day was like for them and also gave a stark warning to voters. It could happen again. As ugly as that day was, I'm proud to say that our officers won that day and the certification of the election happened. We may not be so lucky next time. Franklin says that message isn't likely to impact any swing voters, but that may not even be the goal. What the Biden campaign is in part trying to do is mobilize people on January 6th, not because they're changing minds, but because they're reminding some of their supporters who are wavering right now. Now, at the same time, Franklin says the Trump campaign will also have to energize their base and will likely also use the 2020 election denial to do it. Coming up tonight at 6, I'll show you just what those officers said about that day and where those words could make a difference. All right, Brayden, thank you. Coming up next on Live at 4, a look at how debilitating migraines can be. With National Migraine Awareness Month already underway, one doctor shares her story about how migraines have affected her life. That's next when Live at 4 continues. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Harker Heating and Cooling, Best Duct Cleaning, Best Heating and Cooling. Vote for Harker Heating and Cooling and all your favorites today. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. It's coming, predicted to be one of the hottest summers ever. And you can't enjoy anything when your house is too hot, especially when you get that big utility bill. So what do you do? You stop the hot air from coming in and your cool air from leaking out. With USA Premium Foam in your walls, your old hot and humid house really can be made comfortable. Call now, and when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. Stop sweating and start saving. USA Insulation. GA, the advanced form of dry age-related macular degeneration can irreversibly damage your vision. It can progress faster than you think. When GA threatens your eyes, take a stand. Slow GA with Cyfovri. Cyfovri is an eye injection that was proven to slow damaging lesion growth over two years with increasing effect over time. It's the only FDA-approved treatment to slow GA in as few as six doses per year. Don't take Cyfovri if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye that may include pain and redness. 
Cyfovri can cause serious side effects, such as eye infection and retinal detachments, severe inflammation of vessels in the retina, which may result in severe vision loss, wet AMD, eye inflammation, and an increase in eye pressure. Most common side effects are eye discomfort, wet AMD, small specks floating in vision, and blood in the white of the eye. Tell your doctor right away if you have any side effects. Every moment counts. Act now to slow GA with Cyfovri. Ask your retina specialist about Cyfovri. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. New at 5, the summer of singing cicadas is in full swing. We'll check in on Janesville residents surrounded by the insects. Discover how they're harmonizing with their new serenading neighbors. It's been an active spring with lots of alert day conditions and severe weather. Now we're going to add heat and humidity to the forecast, how high the mercury goes at 5. And ahead at 6, mass shootings in the U.S. are becoming more frequent and deadlier. We reveal the disturbing statistics behind this surge and explore why it's happening. That's tonight at 6. Just saying. Welcome back. June is Migraine Awareness Month, and new research suggests over the past 20 years, the debilitating condition and its impact are getting worse for patients. Mm -hmm. But as Bradley Blackburn explains, new treatments are also offering new hope. Mimi Frisch recently graduated medical school and became a doctor. And they really started getting bad when I was in high school. But since she was a child, she struggled with her own health challenges. I often feel like it's really just like, it's like squeezing my brain. It took multiple doctors to get the correct diagnosis, migraine headaches that can at times be debilitating. There have been times when I'm like out with friends and I get such a bad headache or migraine that like I have to leave and go home and sit in a dark room by myself. Some 40 million Americans live with migraines, one of the leading causes of disability. Mount Sinai headache specialist Dr. Fred Cohen says data shows by some measures they're getting worse for sufferers. The impact and burden migraine as well as the headache frequency has been going up. His study found since 2004, scores on the migraine disability assessment scale have gone from 22 percent to 42 percent. The answers why aren't clear. Go to your left, go to your right. But for patients like Frisch, newer migraine medications are providing relief. It's remarkable how much it's changed my life. I remember the first month that I went where I had four weeks without a headache, and that was like unbelievable to me. Dr. Cohen says if migraines last longer than a few hours or are severe, see a doctor. The vast majority of migraine patients aren't getting adequate treatment. And a lot of it is that, unfortunately, they don't know. And there's a lot of tools. The pain is real, and so is the promise of treatment. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Migraines affect more women than men, but all patients have seen an increase in frequency and impact. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, we're sitting down with Miss Madison and her team counterparts. They're getting ready for the Miss Wisconsin competition and hoping for a shot at Miss America. We'll hear from them next when Live at 4 returns. This is Good News Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. We have something for everybody, whether it be a diehard soccer fan, a young kid that maybe it's their first game, or just a casual fan. No matter what side of the stadium you're on, you're less than 10 feet uh, from the actual players. So we're really fortunate to have that kind of a, a amazing, intimate experience here at the stadium. Really something for everybody in great affordable family entertainment here at Bree Stevens Field. And that is Good News Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. 
To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goobers! <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today... Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to, to Delicious. delicious. Yeah. Many window installers lack proper training. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our installers are certified and trained to ensure your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. Baraboo Furniture and Mattress is now open. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display, including Flex Steel, Best, England, Spring Air, Ashley, Amish Furniture, and much more. All in stock and on sale. With an acre of quality name brand furniture in our beautiful new showroom, you're sure to find just what you're looking for. Get special free financing. All credit welcome. Hurry in today to Baraboo Furniture and Mattress, where your satisfaction is our guarantee. On January 6th, Donald Trump lit a fire in this country. 140 officers were injured. The siege lasted for seven hours. Stoking the flames of division and hate. Now he's pouring gasoline. They were unbelievable patriots. Pledging to pardon the extremists who tried to overthrow our government. We will give them pardons. Inciting them to try again. There is nothing more sacred than our democracy. But Donald Trump's ready to burn it all down. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Welcome back. A new Miss Wisconsin will be crowned next week. The 2024 Miss Wisconsin and Miss Wisconsin's teen competition will take place June 19th through the 22nd in Oshkosh. It is an official preliminary to the national Miss America pageant. 22-year-old Hallie Bender of Madison is Miss Madison. Welcome, Hallie. Thank you. And uh, she'll compete for the title of Miss Wisconsin. And 15-year-old Natalie Pop of Fitchburg is Miss Madison teen. Hi. Hi. Welcome, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you for being here on Thank Live you for at Four. Um, Hallie, let's start with you. Tell us why you wanted you wanted to compete for this title. Absolutely. So I graduated college last year, and I was really involved in college. And I knew I wanted to stay busy even when I was working. So after college, I decided to look into some organizations I can volunteer my time to, and the Miss Wisconsin opportunity seemed like the perfect fit. Wonderful. What kind of different volunteer things do you guys do with that? Absolutely. We've done some parades this year. We do things with our community initiatives, which we can talk about a little later. So really anything and everything we've been to, and it's been a blast to get around Madison. Natalie, I'm, people are probably less familiar with Miss Madison's team. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that competition. So the team part of the program is basically identical to the Miss part, actually. And I take part in a bunch of different activities regarding my community service initiative. And I got to do a lot with Hallie this year. And are you still in high school now? Yeah. I'm I'm going to be a junior next year. Oh, congratulations. Where do you go to high school? Lakeside Lutheran and Lake Mills. Oh, that's great. So did you always want to participate? Is this your first pageant that you've been involved in? This is my second year in the Miss America organization, but it is my first time ever competing in a pageant. I love that they you get a crown, even yes, right at the very beginning. The crown is just, I want one of the crowns. <laughs> I love it. But it's a lot more than just uh, about beauty and, uh, and superficial things, Absolutely. right? Tell us a little bit about why you think pageants are still relevant today. Absolutely. Even after graduation for myself, I've still developed a lot professionally and personally. Public speaking is a huge thing, obviously, as, as we can progress that through our experience through our titles um, and just developing those leadership qualities and skills that you can apply to everyday life. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And tell me, you know, you know, Natalie, what about you is so kind of fulfilling and rewarding to do this? For me, it's given me so many different skills that I'm going to use in the future, whether it's interview skills or overall confidence. And it gives me the ability to serve the community of Madison, which is something I've loved to do this year through my community service initiative, which has been very fulfilling for me. Which is, what is your, cons your uh, you always pick a topic yes. that you're, and you're very actively involved in it. What, what is yours? So mine is called Teens for Heroes, which is about thinking and supporting our active military and veterans and educating teens about the importance of it. And That's during wonderful. my time as Miss Madison's teen, I've created a group at my high school that does quarterly activities geared towards thanking our veterans. And we've done card making and tie blankets for veterans that I hand donate and taking part in Badger Honor Flights and all these different activities that I get teens involved in. That's wonderful. And Hallie, how about you? 
Mine is entitled Bringing Dignity to Dementia. My grandmother oh. had dementia and unfortunately she passed last year. So it's been a really great opportunity to be able to educate others on dementia and how to bring them dignity towards the end of life, making sure that they're still able to be themselves even if their cognition doesn't allow them to. Oh, that affects so many people. Absolutely. And that's wonderful. You're doing something good. And there's also, now you've already graduated from college, but Natalie, for you, there's scholarship money up yeah. for grabs mm -hmm. at competitions like this. Yeah. Is that an incentive for you to participate? It's definitely a great reward. I've already gotten over $1,500 after competing for just two years, and I can't wait to see where I go in the future with that. And then the Miss w Madison's team goes which path? So then you would be, your next competition would be, like yeah. Hallie, you would Miss be... Miss Wisconsin's team. Miss Wisconsin's yes. team. And it's at the same competition? Yeah, next week. Well, we can't wait to have <laughs> you back when you both win. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you won the title of Miss Wisconsin? I would probably hug all my family and friends, <laughs> um, cry a little bit. Um, but I'm just really excited to see what that opportunity holds and advocating for both of our causes on the larger state platform. Well, you are both very, Im very impressive young women and Thank you're you. representing your communities well. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You. And please come back, come <laughs> back after. We'd like to hear more about the experience. And Absolutely. How we wish you all the best. Thank Good luck. So Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Alex, tell us a little bit about how muggy it's going to be today. <laughs> the mugginess, the good news is it's starting to slip away from southern Wisconsin, where it's still a bit on the muggy side out there. Dew points are right around 60. That's about where you start to feel the humidity as we move through the evening. Temperatures slipping through the 70s. Overnight tonight, though, we'll get down into the 50s. So you might be able to open up the windows tonight, and it won't be quite as loud as it was this morning. Radar 3000 not showing anything loud on the radar right now. No showers and storms that front settled quickly to the south, taking all those storm chances with it. Those temperatures will fall down into the mid to upper 50s for low temperatures to start off your Friday morning, and then we'll go right up to about 80 for a high temperature Friday afternoon. So a sunny day, a gorgeous end of the week, and then things turn a little bit. If you like the warm and humid weather, if you're that type of person who likes the tropical feel, you're going to like that Father's Day Sunday up near 90 with those heat index values cranking up there. But you definitely want to keep uh, in mind, though, you're going to need to hydrate, find that uh, those times to take breaks next week, and also, where's that cool place, the AC of the fan. Why are we keeping highs, though, in the upper 80s? Watch this as we go Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. On and off shower and thunderstorm chances, and showers and thunderstorms help to keep Keep those temperatures down just a little bit. It'll also be a very humid time across the area. Could even have some stronger storms during this time frame, according to Future Track Monday night, and then yet a couple more batches of storms as we go into Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday look a little bit more on the drier side. Still a storm chance Wednesday and Thursday, but with a little bit less in the way of cloud activity, a little bit less in the way of the thunderstorm activity Wednesday and Thursday, boosted those highs up to near 90 degrees. And also just want to throw out there too, and it's as, as humid as we're expecting. Remember, water takes longer to heat up than dry air. So usually we cap off in the upper 80s to right around 90 when we have humidity levels as high as we're expecting. But we will be keeping a close eye on those temperatures throughout next week. If there are any heat bulletins, you'll be first to know, and we'll be letting you know as well if any of those days look like they will be stormy enough that we may have to think about putting in some alert day conditions. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. It's going to be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. We have saved 25 to 30% on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra $100 off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35% off your new Champion windows and $100 off every window you buy. Call 888 4Champion or schedule your free in home estimate online today. Introducing Badgerscape Design and Landscape your trusted full-service landscape company in the greater Madison area. We offer expert design, installation, and maintenance services. Visit BadgerscapeDesignAndLandscape.com to schedule a consultation today. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. 
make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know, part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. New at five, the summer of singing cicadas is in full swing with trillions around the country. We check in on Janesville residents surrounded by the insects, discover how they're harmonizing their new serenading neighbors. That's coming up next. Sunday after the Tonys, a difficult path to parenthood becomes a story of hope. I could see myself reading a story just like this to my child. How a local man's late night vision inspired his next chapter to do something good. Sunday on News 3 Now at 10. Well, take a look at this. Italians are known for their passion and apparently the Italian parliament is no exception. Emotions are running high during a debate on a proposed bill on increasing local government autonomy and when a lawmaker from the Five Star Movement Party tried to hand a flag to a member from the far right league party, an all-out brawl broke out. Dozens of parliament members entered the skirmish with one reportedly injured. We'll be right back. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year using powerful equipment custom built by us. We'll remove the buildup of dirt, dust, allergens, grime and contaminants seen and unseen from your home and business. America's professional deep cleaner for over 75 years. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home. Imagine having a Medicare Advantage plan that can help cover costs for dental services or even groceries. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is offering special benefits called Essential Extras, available for Medicare Advantage plan members. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible to enroll today. Unsure if you're eligible? Our licensed insurance agents can help. Just call the number on your screen today. Medicare Advantage plans cover everything in original Medicare Parts A and B while offering coverage for additional benefits. With Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans, you could get no-cost essential extras you might not expect. These plans may include allowances for dental, vision, hearing, assistive devices, or even money for healthy groceries. That's not all, though. You could also get an allowance to help pay for utility costs like gas, electric, water, or sewer. It can even be used towards internet and cellular providers. Explore 2024 Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras in your zip code by calling today. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Essential extras could even include transportation to plan approved destinations but you won't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. You have to call to see if you're eligible to enroll. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is proud to offer these special no-cost Medicare Advantage plan benefits that help provide comfort and convenience to make everyday life easier. Don't miss out. Call Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield today to explore 2024 Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras. If you're new to Medicare, on Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Call 800-694-1143. 800-694-1143. That's 800-694-1143. That wraps up today's Live at 4. The News at 5 is coming up next. Armand's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Armand? Tomorrow on Live at 4, Will Loper returns with the shows to put on your most watch list over the weekend. And next at 5, residents in Wausau are concerned after someone was putting out anti-Semitic material across the town, how this is affecting the Jewish community there next. Thanks for joining Live at 4. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. News through Now at 5 starts right now.